Hey guys, Brandon here. I see fungi. What the heck is a mushroom forager and a mushroom grower doing in the store buying mushrooms? I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here. So let's take these king oysters, uh, one that I don't have in my collection. We're gonna take these home. We're gonna clone this and put it on agar and regrow it out. So we're gonna get the tissue sample first and then of course we're gonna do a destroy these by cooking them and eating them and putting them in my belly so well, here in a second we'll go ahead and have the part two of this where i am putting this on the petri dish and getting to it so stick around all right guys you just saw me in the grocery store buying these at whole foods this is king oyster mushrooms and what we're going to do is we're going to clone these mushrooms and make them part of our personal collection. So what's pretty cool about getting a tissue sample, if you're going to work with clones, is a lot of times you're going to have some of those same uh, characteristics, whether that's uh, maybe contamination resistance or size or growth pattern or color or potency. All different things can vary with clones. So you can actually get a couple grows out with the clone and then eventually with that good clone you want to try to get a spore print and then you'll work backwards in time again so that's what we're going to do here we're going to go back in time we're going to take this fruit and body of the mushroom you can clone from the stem or from the cap and we'll bust that open and we'll just Cut a little tissue sample off in here. It really doesn't take much at all. So we can get a little piece out. Now what's cool about working with agar is you can see the contamination. So if this is dirty or I mess up and contaminate it, I can isolate that. So this is grain water agar right here and then this is brown rice flour. We're gonna do one of both. I'm gonna re-sterilize. Haven't, haven't had time to go get any more denatured alcohol for my alcohol lamp. I just work and then spend a lot of my free time in the woods. So another good thing about cloning mushrooms, if you're gonna clone the edible ones, is you're like getting a tissue sample of it and you still get to eat it. So that's nice. Kind of get the double dip on that this one I'm gonna kind of take more towards the cap now if you can bust inside the um, inside of the mushroom here you can get a sample that hasn't been composed to the air so the chances of it being sterile are higher so we'll just take that right there and that's it Got my parafilm here, and we'll wrap them up and uh, be done with it. So get outside, get in nature. I see fungi. Do you?